Hey, Julie here, and today I'm going to talk, to talk to you or show you how to make a paper bead covered pen. And uh, these are the pens, what they look like. And basically what they are, it's uh, I used one sheet to make each pen, and then there were actually extra sheets. So I combined, uh, you know, like this one here is actually two sheets. Plus, I used, you know, some extras for other um, strips that I didn't actually roll. Uh, but technically, you could probably get four pens from two sheets of paper. And uh, basically, what I used is a regular old Bic pen. And with its cap, this is actually its cap covered in paper as well. And in order to make the special beads to speed up the process, I actually made a special bead roller and I'll show you exactly how to make this so that you can make your own and uh, let's get started okay so the very first thing that you're going to need to do before you can start making your beads for your pen um, you're going to need to make a, a paper bead roller and I have mine right here and uh, let me show you how I made this so I'm going to set that aside for now. You're going to need some duct tape. You can use whatever duct tape you want. I'm starting to make my tools with, you know, zebra print, so because it's, it's fun. But anyway, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to cut a piece of duct tape three and a half inches long, and I set mine aside, you know, on this slick back stuff um, from what's it called? Uh, the self laminating sheets that I used in a previous video. Well, I saved the sheet because uh, it's handy for doing stuff like this. So, you're going to need that. And I put the, the double stick tape onto my pen before I even do anything else. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a pen that is already used up and all dry and empty and completely done and dead. And uh, take the cap off. And then you're going to take the nib off where the, the ink comes out of. Just take that out with a pair of pliers. Um, this works good. I'm not going to do it with this pen because this pen is, is brand new and it's still usable. So we're going to put that away for now. And I've already prepared one ahead of time. I've already pulled the nib off of this one. Um, but I haven't pulled this off. And in order to be able to get the slot in it like I have in this one, you're going to pull that out Actually, you know what? Let's let's cover that up with the duct tape first. There's a reason why I like to cover it up with the duct tape first. So you pull the duct tape off of your backing, lay it down in front of you, and see how on the the butt end of your pen it, it kind of bulges out a little bit, and then you have the edge of the barrel. You want to line up the edge of your tape with the edge of the barrel to try to get it to be as um, you know, close to that edge as possible. And you're going to lay it down on the very edge. Have it stick out a little bit. Because you want about an inch and a quarter of clearance from the edge of this side of the tape to this edge of the barrel. And just go ahead and roll it a little bit and then roll it up. Okay, so there's a reason why I did it this way. See how it bulges out a little bit? It, it just falls perfectly right where it needs to be. Okay, so the next step is you're going to take this tip out, but you're going to use it. You're going to need it later on. So go ahead and carefully pull that out using your pliers. Pull it out, set it aside. You will absolutely need this later. Okay, the next step is Okay, it's going to run away from me, so it's going to sit right there. The next step is you're going to take a pair of scissors, any old good sharp scissors, and you're going to cut a notch as straight as you possibly can, just, just a tiny notch, just to get things started. And you're cut, going to cut that notch. Okay, and once you have that little tiny notch, you can probably can't really see it, but there is a notch there. You're going to take your box cutters or a utility knife, and carefully cut toward the tape ever so slowly and try to do it as straight as you possibly can. It's really not that easy to get it straight so you really want to take your time with it and just kind of rock it gently back and forth 
try to be as straight with it as you can. In fact, you want to make sure that you lay it down on your work surface to get this as straight as possible. And you can work the um, pen into the knife. And this, again, did not come out straight. My first one did, of course. This one's not straight. I won't be using this one. But uh, try to get as straight as you possibly can. This one I did pretty good. And what I ended up doing with the first one, I don't know why it didn't get straight, but it didn't. It, it happens. But that's the way I basically did it. Is uh, I, I cut it with the scissors first to get it started. And then... I cut the slit in it all the way up to the tape. You basically want to go up to the tape. And then this little cap here. And you do want to make a gap. If you can do two cuts, go for it. Make two cuts. But barely even a sixteenth of an inch wide. Um, you absolutely need this tip to stick back in the end. Because when you roll them up, um, I have made some beads that don't fit because I made them without putting the tip back in. It's these here. And they don't actually fit on the pen. I'm going to have to use them for another project. Um, so with that, you've got your paper bead roller. And then the next step is to pick out your paper. So we'll go to that next. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you prepare your strips. And uh, I'm using a template, a cutting template that I have available on my Etsy shop in the 5 8 inch paper bead cutting template section. And basically what this particular template is, it's 5 8 inch at one end and quarter inch at the other end. And it's 11 inches long. And so I layer it with two sheets of paper. So this way I should get be able to get at least three pens from this. Um, two of them that are completely made out of each paper and then one that's a combination of the two put together. And uh, let me show you an example. One that's, uh, here's like a complete one. And here's, I'm in the process of working on one that's two different sheets of paper. Okay, so go ahead and put them together. Get them ready to cut. You can use either a guillotine cutter or a rotary cutter and cutting mat and just go ahead and clip the edges so that way they won't shift on you while you're cutting them and that way all the strips will be the same and very accurate. Okay, once you get all your strips done then the next step is um, well you're going to cut them out and you're going to pile them up and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so after you get all your strips cut and uh, once you have actually made your paper bead rollers that are all one um, sheet of paper, um, you're going to need to make your cap. And uh, I am already working on a pen that is actually made with a combination of these. And you're, you're actually going to see me roll these. I've, I have it done and I do my videos and weird clips. But anyway. So the next step I'm going to actually show you is how you're going to plan out your your uh, pen. And uh, this one that I'm working on has, you know, the strips. And basically what you want to do is you want to pull out all your strips, lay them out in front of you, and arrange them in the style that you want. And I haven't made the cap yet. I'm going to show you that next. And that's where I'm at. And I'll show you how to roll the, the beads in a little bit and then I'm going to show you the cap completely separate. Okay, so after, um, once you start rolling up your beads, these actually ended up being a little bit too tight and they won't go on like this one will. This one slides very easily. These won't fit and I know why. It's because when I made the slit in my bead roller um, when you squeeze it together it makes it too tight so what you're going to want to do when you start rolling up your strips I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need to do you actually do need to use your tip that you pulled out and so I'm going to go ahead and start rolling up some beads 
In fact, I'm going to get rid of this strip because I don't need it. I've got one here that actually works perfectly. So there's that first strip. And um, it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to go ahead and just, you know, fit your beads on as you go. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll this tiny one. And what I'm going to do first is go ahead and slide it in. Slide it in as far as it will go. And then put your cap, your little doohickey thing that you pulled out, you need to put that in to properly space the pen. And then go ahead and start your rolling. And then go ahead and put your glue on. And I had made those other beads ahead of time before even trying to fit it on the pen and it and the beads didn't fit and it's because I took the doohickey or the nose tip out. And so I'm using the nose tip as my <clears throat> little spacer to make the bent the pen barrel the right size. And this should slide easily on and off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and this is my little tiny spacer. And uh this spacer was made from one strip that was the 5 8 inch wide at the wide end, quarter inch at the other end, 11 inches long. And I needed a, a piece that was 3 8 of an inch for the cap. And this was the leftover piece that I had to trim down just a little tiny bit more to make it fit in that gap. So um, each sheet of paper makes... Um, one full pen and you have enough strips left over so you can almost start to make another one um, but then you want to you know if you're going to need one of these spacers and a 3 8 and each of these takes nine 5 8 inch wide beads so I'm going to go ahead and take this little doohickey off which then I can squeeze it again and pull that right off and to test it Go back and, and clean it up <clears throat> and test it. Just go ahead and stick it on there. And the inside wasn't completely glued, but this one will work. It will fit. So it will fit. There, it'll fit. So you can set that one aside as a keeper. Okay, so. I'm also going to roll <clears throat> one of these larger beads. Let's do this one. Oh, I need my roller. I am going to do this again. Slide it on as far as it will go. And then put your cap, your uh, nose tip in for your spacer. And start rolling it. And again, you want to glue this as you go, all the way. You can also go ahead and use a glue stick if you want and put the glue on the whole strip ahead of time. But you want to make sure that you allow the first inch and or so, the first inch to be unglued. Or don't put any glue on it. Okay, it's going to take me just a moment here. And without that nose tip, this bead would end up being too small to fit on the barrel. So make sure you remember to put that nose tip for each and every bead that you make. That gives it the proper spacing that you need and the proper diameter. Okay, so I'm going to take the nose tip off, which squeezes it together a little bit, roll it <clears throat> between my fingers, and test it on my pen. No problem. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll the rest of these off camera, and then I'll show you what to do next.
Okay, so now that you've got all your strips rolled for your main barrel of your pen and you have them rearranged on your pen, um, they're not, these are not glued on yet. I'll show you how to do that next. Um, I wanted to show you how to do the cap next because that's important. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you, you need one of these caps and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut off this end here. And you can do that with your uh, wire cutters. Just like that. And then that little tiny piece is trashed. You can't use it for anything. And then you're going to, there's this little knob thing on the side here that you're going to need to remove. And I found that the fastest way to remove that nub is with an electric grinder. And uh, it's really the fastest, easiest way of doing it. But if you're not familiar with using an electric grinder, you can use sandpaper. It'll just take a lot longer. And Or you can use one of those Dremel tools with the sanding bit on it. That'll work also. And this is what you're after. It's once you grind that off, it's, it's pretty smooth, and I've got one all prepared and ready to go. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to need the, your glue, and I set my glue aside, so where did I put that? Oh, that's good. Where did I put my glue? Aha, see it. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to need your glue, and pull that out. And you're going to need a lot more of it because basically you're going to be gluing this as you go. And you want to start off with your 3 8 inch piece because the 3 8 inch piece goes on this edge right here. If you notice there's a ridge here and that's about 3 8 inch from here to here. So you're going to take your skinny piece, your 3 8 inch wide at the wide end, and you're going to glue that on. And I put the glue directly onto the cap because this is the only part that I actually do the glue as on the cap as I go because you're going to be fighting with this uh, it's not going to want to do what you want it to do so you need to take charge and just do it so it's going to get kind of wonky and it's going to have a mind of its own seems like but anyway, once you get this first turn wrapped around, push down on it to keep it in place. Hold it there for a few seconds before you continue. And then go ahead and put on some glue as much as you can down the length of it. And start rolling it. And try to keep it as centered as possible at this point on this end here. And then just keep adding glue as you go. And a few more turns here. And with the next two strips that you're going to put on, um, you can overlap them a little bit if you want to completely hide the cap. It's definitely okay. In fact, that's what I will be doing. Okay, so keep going right to the end. Okay. All right, let that sit a few seconds, maybe even a minute, just for it to be able to keep its shape and hold it there. Okay, and then pick out your next strip that you're going to be working on. I'm going to turn this around so you can hold on to it and put your glue on just wide enough for the next strip which is 5 eighths of an inch no need to go all the way to the edge okay so I'm using this one since that's the ne next one in the sequence and hold it down a few seconds and like I said earlier it's okay to overlap especially this first go around And this one can be rolled up almost in a, in a cone fashion, which is definitely okay. Um, like I said earlier, take control of the paper. If it gets wrinkled and bubbly, yeah, it, it's going to happen. 
Um, just go ahead and let the wrinkles happen. Just smooth them as best as you can. And you'll see what I mean as I roll this up. It's going to get away from you. And it's going to wrinkle up. So you just want to push it down, add more glue if you need to. See how it's bubbling up here? You're just going to push it down. Because that's going to get covered up with your next strip. And see how it's getting out of my out of my out of course here okay so keep on going yeah I'm using an awful lot of glue yeah now both ends of my toothpick are gluey okay that's fine that's part of the fun with crafting is these little little thingies that happen okay so my fingers are gonna get filled with glue big deal they'll, they'll clean up okay Sticky, sticky. Yeah, this is the sticky part, the messy part. And just keep working on, you know, working toward the end. Basically staying on the same strip as you can, you know, if you can. Because you're, after all, you're just trying to cover the cap. And, well, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Like I said, you're overlapping. It works especially well when it's all one color like this one. And there's, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing in this life is. All right. Almost to the end here. This is one of those types of paper bead rolling things that does not have to be perfect because it will be okay in the end. It'll look good. Okay, so the second strip is done, and now we're going to do the same thing with the third one. Flip it over, get the cap ready, spread the glue on. Okay, once the glue is on there, go ahead and start rolling this strip on it. And if you want, you know, it, you should make sure that the edge of your strip is at the edge of the cap and then you can work it back to overlap a little bit and I'll show you how to cover up the end and that's one thing I forgot to show you is uh, you need to make little tiny circles in fact you can do it here and it won't even matter watch this I need a, uh, a thing to cover up this end so I'm gonna make a, a punch a hole right dead center here and one dead center here and that gives me the the two punches that I need and believe it or not it's, this is not going to show so just go ahead and keep on gluing nobody will notice the difference that I made a mistake and that's one way to cover it up so I'm going to keep on rolling <laughs> this will actually work because it's going to get covered up and you'll never know all right Keep rolling, keep rolling. You need those two dots, and I'll show you why a little bit later. You could have done it on any of the strips near the wide end, and it would have been fine. You wouldn't have been able to tell. It's one of those little secret things between you and me, okay? All right. Well, we'll keep on going right to the end. Yeah, those two dots are kind of important, and you'll see why later. Keep on a rolling. See, you can't even tell that I punched a couple of holes. There's no way you can tell. Almost forgot to show you that. I usually do it right at the very, very bottom at the wide end, but, you know, you don't have to do it there, as you can see. Okay, so enough about the two little holes. We'll, we'll visit that later. And i just trying to fill up space, getting to the end here. Alright, so I've got the rest of my glue on and I'm going to finish rolling this up. And the cap is done except for glazing. So look at that. That looks pretty good actually. That one came out pretty good. Alright, so the next step happens to be go ahead and dry fit everything together looks pretty good you don't want any of the pen to show and it doesn't look at that okay so the next step believe it or not 
you've got this bare end and you have this bare end and you have these two little dots that you just punched out of the center of the strip and it just so happens to be that I've got the grassy bead here and the grassy bead here it kind of works so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your butt end your bottom put a little bit of glue on it and with your toothpick pick up one of the dots and put it on and let it sit there a few minutes okay the next step is to do the same thing with the cap go ahead and put the little glue dot right dead center and pick up your paper dot and put that on the center and let those sit there until they dry give it 10-15 minutes and then I'll show you the next step okay so I've ha it's had a few minutes to go ahead and dry a little bit so I'm just going to push on the end to secure it even more to kind of conform it and to bend it to the shape of the tip of the cap and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side is I'm going to push it down now these beads have not been glued on it so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take these off for now and take off my cap all right they're going to be a little bit stubborn okay come on there we go yes they're a little bit hard to take off okay so you're going to push down on that a little bit more in fact you could probably do this dot at the very very end after you get the whole pen ready like this one here see if I can find the cap for that see I haven't done that one yet and so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find a strip that I didn't punch yet and do the same thing here we go and I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna take a punch from the center of my strip try not to let him fly because he'll lose them okay so let's flip this over and this one it's all glued and ready to go and so is this one it's all glued and ready to go so this is when you actually want to go ahead and put in your your paper dots and uh, this one you can put as much glue inside of it as you can because you you really do want to fill it and then go ahead and put your paper dot in there ever so carefully and like I said you're gonna to want to give that a few minutes to dry before you do what I just did with the other one so that way when you go to push it down it won't come back off on you which happens a lot if I don't wait long long enough so go ahead and put that glue dot and I'm gonna set that aside try not to be tempted to do it and now I'm gonna now it's time for me to go ahead and assemble this this pen and uh, I'm hoping I can remember what order I had them in see I've got this uh, made one with straw so one that goes next is one of these so I'm going to put that one on and go ahead and pull down on it I know it fits because it did earlier it's just a matter of it's going to be stubborn but this will work just got to have patience there we go push it down to the cap then take one of the ones the next ones push it down then the next one oh wait a minute I'm forgetting the glue duh okay pull those back you don't have to pull them back all the way off you want to make sure that you have the cap on there because that's your stopper and go ahead and smear the glue on all the way around this will keep the beads in place and then you go ahead and push that down go ahead and wipe the excess off especially from here because you know it's you're gluing it to the cap in fact if you want to at this point you can pull the cap off let that let that dry maybe a minute if you're making a whole bunch of pens that's a good idea go ahead and get the first bead on there take the cap off let that sit there a little bit let it dry and then put the cap back on push it down and continue so I've got already got my straw bead ready to pull down 
So put more glue on. And this is pretty much what I did with the rest of them. I put the glue on and then pulled the, you know, the pre-made bead down onto it. So pull it down, and twist it, take a little bit of the glue off. And then the next one is going to be one of the teal colored ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I put the glue on. Try to keep my fingers clean. Okay, so that one's ready to pull down. And just keep on going. Putting the glue on. And yes, it oozes out because you're pushing the glue aside. But enough stays on the paper, so it's okay. Push that down. Wipe off the excess. Get the next one ready. All right, keep on going. So I did not bother pre-dipping my beads into any PC Petrifier at this point. I didn't think it was really necessary since I'm actually gluing the inside and gluing them to each other. And uh, hopefully this will work because I haven't glazed any of them yet. So the next one is the teal colored. Put that on there. And, and go ahead and put the glue on. Okay, so that one's done. And then the next one is a straw one. So I'm going to put some, put that on there. Put the glue on. Push it down. Then the next one is the teeny tiny, ti the, the small one. Put that on there, get that ready. And pull that down on that one. And then the last one. Just go ahead and get it started. And put the glue on and pull it down over, just like that. And wipe off the excess glue. Okay, so give that one about 20 minutes and it will be ready for glaze. And that's going to be the next step. Okay, so to glaze these pens, what you're going to need, okay, let's do the caps first. So we're gonna take the caps off the pens because the caps get done completely separately. And yes, I do dip these. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a moment. And I've got five pens that I'm gonna do today. And I've got my caps and my pens. So let's put the pens aside. And what I'm using right now for the first few coats is this wood PC Petrifier. And uh, you're gonna need a tall cup. I'm using a blue Solo cup to actually dip them. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna grab a hold of the cap like this and dip it into my PC Petrifier. And then I'm gonna put them on these wooden pegs that I've made. These are, um, oh, quarter inch dowel that I cut into three inch pieces and sharpened with a pencil sharpener on both ends and it sticks right into a styrofoam block. So, and I've got five caps, so I'm gonna put five pegs in here just to get me started. See, and these will, these will fit on here just fine for dripping and drying. Okay, so I've got my five and I'm gonna set that back here so that way you can still see it. And like I said, I'm using PC Petrifier. It's a wood hardener. You can get it from Amazon and you can get it from Home, Home Depot. But the little tip that I have, it's less expensive at Amazon by about $30 a gallon. I buy it by the gallon because I actually do use it a lot. So here's my Solo cup that I've already filled with my PC Petrifier. And I'm gonna be doing like four coats. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it in. 
completely. If you get some in there, it's no big deal. You're going to tip it back up and pour it out. Pour it out completely. To me, so what if it gets wet in the middle? It's going to be fine. And then you're going to go ahead and put it on your peg. And don't worry about it if th that happens, if you drop it, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to dip it in. And like I said, I haven't actually um, dipped any of these, haven't glazed any of them. So this is, you're seeing this for the first time, and I'm doing it for the first time. So I'm just going ahead, and instead of grab going through here, it's easier if I just do it this way. And let it drip, let it drip. And put it on a peg. Okay, next one. Let me put these over here so I won't tip over my glaze. And I'm going to want to put four coats of this PC Petrifier on here for good coverage. And then one more. Now there is a possibility I may not have enough PC Petrifier in this cup to dip the pen completely. That's okay. I'll show you what to do in that case. Okay, so this is how I do the caps. I'd been thinking about this for days. So let me set that aside. Caps are done. The next step that I'm going to be working on is the actual pens. Now you're thinking, how am I going to dip and dry these pens? Well, I've come up with an idea. I'm hoping this works, actually. I am using one of these cups. Yeah. Um, my husband actually had an iced coffee last night, and he ended up getting a medium, and it ended up getting, he got a cup that was the perfect size for this. I had been contemplating using the Solo cup, but it's not deep enough. So, we got this. And because this would end up being top heavy, um, I put some of those rock stones or glass marble thingies in the bottom of it to weight it down. So this is what, how the rack I'm going to use to dry it. And the way I'm going to be dipping them and drying them using this, I'm also going to use a couple of clothespins. And the way this is going to work is instead of using the tweezers, I'm going to use the clothespins as the tweezers. And I'm putting the skinny part. Let me see if I can find a good clothespin for this. That one's good. Okay. Okay, on this clothespin, there's this little section here that's a little bit smaller. There's a little notch. And that's what you want to put the top part of the pen in, just like this. And this is for dipping. And for drying and hanging, I'll show you where to put the other one. But for now, we're just going to push that up in a little bit more, make it make it in there. And then we're going to dip that in there, and we're going to tip it. And it looks like I'm not going to have enough PC Petrifier in there, so I'm going to go ahead and hang it off the edge, get my gallon that I have sitting right next to me, and I'm going to fill it up probably to that bottom line of the cup. That should be deep enough. And yeah, don't worry, I have a funnel. I'm going to pour it all back into the gallon jug when I'm done. And again, it's... I'm going to tip it and try to dip it as much as I can. These pens are a little long, but I'm going to dip it right to the top of the beads. Okay, and then I'm going to set it down inside while it's in there, and I'm going to attach the second clothespin. And this time you're going to want to use the top, the large part right here on the fat part of the pen, like that. And then you're going to lift it up and let it drip a little bit. And you can bring this one down closer so it looks more like that. And you're going to hang this inside your cup. And yes, it's going to be sideways. So you want to make sure it doesn't cut, t touch the side of your uh, cup here. And it looks like I'm going to be able to fit two pens in here. Now, I also have a rotating carousel type a paper bead drying rack and I'm going to be hanging the rest of mine on that but right now that's in a different room and I just wanted to demonstrate how you can dry this if you don't have one of those so I'm going to do another one grab another paper bead pen and a couple more clothespins and repeat this process 
I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top part way up here and dip it in, take my time, tip it up to get good coverage and you just want to be very careful that you don't spill your PC petrifier. Alright and then I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the bottom underneath it and hang this one right next to it so that they're not touching each other and it's not touching the side. So those two can hang out in there probably at least a couple hours before you make your next dip and uh, I'll show you what's next. Okay one more tip I wanted to give you is uh, between dips if you don't want to dump this out into your jug and you want to keep it pristine and clean this lid fits just inside down to this ridge here and it's a peanut butter jar lid I can't remember it's not the, the small one and it's not the real big one it's the one in between this fits down inside right to the first ridge so that's perfect it'll keep it an airtight uh, thing and you can just leave it alone for a couple of hours and then go ahead and dip them again and uh, I'm gonna t hang the rest of them from my paper bead drying rack. Okay so I have actually finished my pens put uh, four coats of PC Petrifier on them and one coat of the Vibrance and I gotta say I really like the way they came out and uh, I you know I did try the caps already and they work perfectly and uh, I was a little worried that they might not fit because of the glaze on the inside but they work just fine and uh, well that's basically it that they, they actually work the little the little uh, dots here made out of the paper worked out pretty good worked good on this side and it looks pretty good on the inside it's nice and clear and the finish is nice and hard and so that's basically it I'm done with the pens and again you can get that cutting template at my Etsy shop or just go ahead and cut your own strips and uh, that's basically it so if you like this I wanted to thank you for watching and if you like this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and click the like button below if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below in the comment section. And until next time, thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.